The beginning of 2023 has seen a bumpy launch for PC releases. Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Forspoken, and most recently and significantly, The Last of Us Part 1, have all debuted in dire conditions, with crashes, glitches, and reduced performance despite a slight improvement in visual quality. A major factor in this is that the graphics cards from the past few years are not prepared to handle the requirements of today's games. It's not that the GPUs lack power, games haven't abruptly become more demanding without cause. The issue lies in video memory, or VRAM. Numerous high-performance GPUs from the previous generation were not designed to meet the VRAM requirements of contemporary games, which could explain why your fairly powerful PC struggles with the latest and most thrilling new games. Consider your graphics card as a standalone computer. Within your PC, the processor and RAM collaborate to perform the majority of processing tasks. The processor executes the actual calculations, while the RAM stores the data needed for processing. If your CPU had to access your hard drive every time it needed to make a calculation, your computer would be too sluggish to be functional. Your graphics card operates similarly. The GPU manages the actual processing, while the VRAM stores the data required for processing. This is most evident in texture resolution, as higher resolutions are significantly larger than lower ones. However, VRAM also handles other data, such as shadow maps, geometry, and crucially, shaders. Shaders, particularly in games featuring ray tracing, are intricate and necessitate substantial VRAM space. Coupled with increasing texture resolution, modern AAA games often surpass the typical 8GB of VRAM previously needed, especially when played at higher resolutions. Regrettably, this is an issue that many last-generation GPUs did not anticipate. The RTX 3070T Dilemma When Extreme Tech published a summary of RTX 3070T reviews, it was straightforward. The card had a long-term issue concerning its low VRAM, and we're beginning to witness this problem emerge. Resident Evil 4 Remake can consume up to 8GB of VRAM solely for textures, although you can choose lower options. The Last of Us Part 1 can use nearly 7GB at its minimum graphics preset and more than 14GB at its maximum. Additionally, Hogwarts Legacy devoured almost 13GB of VRAM with ray tracing enabled and around 8GB without it. The consequences are already evident. In initial testing for The Last of Us Part 1, Hardware Unboxed experienced significant stuttering with 8GB of VRAM compared to 16GB, even when using two graphics cards expected to perform at similar levels. It's worth noting that the game's recommended system requirements only specify 4GB of VRAM. Even high-performance graphics cards from the past few years are exhausting their VRAM. Stuttering is one problem, but depleted VRAM can also lead to crashes and force users to reduce settings that their GPU could otherwise manage. I've termed this the RTX 3070T dilemma, but it's not limited to the RTX 3070T. It simply serves as a suitable reference point for a broad range of GPUs that possess 8GB of VRAM or less, despite having exceptional GPU power in other aspects. Even the 10GB RTX 3080 isn't exempt, particularly when using the highest graphics settings at 4K. It's frustrating that graphics cards, which should be sufficiently powerful for contemporary games, are simply depleting VRAM, resulting in stuttering and crashes that should be avoidable. The majority of this issue is concentrated in one area, NVIDIA. While NVIDIA produces the best graphics cards available today, both AMD and Intel have made efforts to increase VRAM, even in lower-end models. For instance, Intel's ARC A770 features 16GB of VRAM for under $350. In contrast, even the $900 RTX 4070T only has 12GB. AMD also chose to include 12GB of memory in its mid-range RX 6700 XT, while Nvidia remained at 8GB. This can impact games like Hogwarts Legacy, where Intel's GPU performs better than its price would imply. Some of this is being addressed with newer cards. Rumors indicate that Nvidia's RTX 4070 may include 12GB of VRAM, Nonetheless, it's disappointing that high-end GPUs capable of handling the most demanding games are encountering issues simply due to VRAM constraints. Regrettably, there isn't much you can do about video memory shortages aside from upgrading your graphics card. You can, however, alleviate some stuttering problems. If VRAM is a limitation, lowering texture resolution can help significantly. Additionally, you can clear your shader cache through AMD software and try enlarging your shader cache size in the NVIDIA control panel. Ultimately, the ideal solution is to have more VRAM on graphics cards, particularly in lower-end models, which will be a significant disappointment for those who have recently upgraded.
Addressing VRAM limitations in graphics cards is crucial to providing a seamless gaming experience for users across all price ranges. Manufacturers like Nvidia, AMD, and Intel must continue to innovate and prioritize VRAM to avoid these issues in the future. As consumers, we can advocate for better hardware by staying informed and making our voices heard. If you're concerned about VRAM and its impact on gaming performance, join the conversation and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Together, we can drive the industry forward and ensure that future graphics cards meet the demands of modern gaming.